Hey guys, Daniel here with another Sino Alice video. I literally just made the things you need to know video, so check that out after watching this or watch that first and then this. It doesn't matter because there's so many things going on in the first couple of days. Anyway, I wanted to call it a day this morning after finishing that video, but I saw a post on Reddit by the user Papa Snake, and he posted this really interesting post. Okay, let me just drag this out. Okay, the post right here, and he posted this really interesting post which is similar to the title to today's video. In the end, I I realized that the gorilla event is hours away so I decided to sleep and do it today. So here I am back at it again with another Sino Alice video guys. So today we're gonna talk about tips to reach 40,000 points as free to play players. Okay I know some of you have already gone beyond that even as free to play but the rest of the player base like even like myself we are still far from 40,000 I'm around 30,000 right now. I'm gonna link this post in the description for those of you who prefer to read or just want a quick recap of this video since the video is gonna be based on this post. So shout out to user Papa Snake for this post. Anyway I'm gonna pull out the points I'm interested in and present in this video. So first point is yeah I'm gonna go back to my game. Okay, gonna leave it here. Okay, so the first point is why 40,000? Because the Shattered Memories event, let me just go inside the game, aka Meta event or aka Rabbit event requires 40,000 to play the max difficulty, which is important since you probably know the best stage to farm every event are the last stage or EX stages in the games. Okay, hit story. Go to event, gathered memories, okay, gathering event. So this is the number one thing that we will be farming for the rest of the two weeks until new automata event comes. So in the meantime, this is the best way to actually progress in the game to farm non-stop for this event. For the medals. Okay. Yeah, so I'm actually 30,000. So I can only do verse 9 right now. Uh, which is actually not bad, I would say. I've been uh, trying to grind my ass off in this game, you know, to catch up with everyone. So the next stage to aim is 40,000. So I'm going to be basing on this post and then get to 40,000. And let's see if we can do it today. Otherwise, you know, we can always try it tomorrow. So for what to exchange, I will cover that in another video since I'm sure this video is going to take a while to talk about. So down the rabbit hole we go. Question. So what does a 40k account look like? Okay, obviously not mine yet, but I'm going to use this image as reference or mine if I've done it. Okay, so how do I get that many points? So basically from here, I'm going to split his post into different parts, namely weapons, armors, nightmares, and jobs. So these are the four main things to boost your stats and to get to 40,000. Number one, I'm going to go straight into gear. Okay, let me just use mine as example for now before I actually started reading this post. So this is my stuff right now, okay? Uh, so what you want to do is, you know, evenly level all of them up, you know, so you can get some stats. I actually just gotten this, I think, like recently, but I'm definitely going to level this, you know, like at least just a couple of levels. Uh, these are my armor. Okay, um, actually leveled them quite a bit. And then the nightmare. Okay, nightmare is uh, probably just stuck like that for a while. I'm, I'm probably not going to touch the nightmare for a while. And then... Very importantly, sub gears as well. Yeah, I still don't have extra stuff. Yeah, I have sub armor and then sub nightmare. So, but the problem is I, I don't even have extra armor to equip. Just a quick look on my account. Okay, so back to number one. I'm gonna go to upgrade gears. Okay, so we for weapons, basically level stuff up. Okay, <laughs> LL. So in my previous video, I talked about farming this gorilla XP events. They appear five times a day and the most efficient way is to use the double drop valves, double the amount of drops. Okay, so you can buy the 30 minutes one in case I haven't talked about this. You can buy the 30 minutes one in the shop for 20 crystals, 8 under items. I actually bought the double drop already. Okay, so it's actually right here, double drop valve. And I'm probably gonna get this. I mean, this the purchase is actually limited and then it's only 20 crystals. So I'm gonna do it, especially the gold as well. And for this one, as I mentioned in the previous video, just get one. Consensus on uh, Discord is actually not worth it to actually buy all because you're gonna replace them sooner or later. So don't sweat it, just get this to like get a quick boost like 2,000, 3,000. Uh, I showed in my previous video. So it's a quick boost. If you're a rear guard, you can just, just get one as well. Honestly, I don't even mind getting this. You only just want 150. Uh, crystals instead of 750 times 2 is actually 3000 which you can do 10 pulls Dude, I only have 3000 crystals right now I'm still very tempted to go get out of free to play but guys free to play man I just like this free to play challenge for most of the games I played instead of using money to solve problems you know get what I mean okay so this makes sense making sure that your AP is full back to the double drop valve okay so this makes sense making sure that your AP is fully utilized while farming with a measly 20 gems we get uh we can get daily okay so it's like every one day you can get 20 gems somehow I believe that the valve is actually very limited probably once in the whole time tomorrow I'm gonna check if they actually restock probably not 
I have this feeling that the vows are actually really strong. So use these vows and then spam as many purification tickets as possible. Right now, I actually had five. So I already used in this uh, in the video. So I'm going to show you in a bit like my farming process. So in, uh, in the post, it says that you can get a few hundred A rank EXP drops in 30 minutes to start leveling up your gear. Okay, so the problem is I just started everything late. The Gorilla event, I started late and then I popped the double drop also late. So I probably missed out on some uh, drops as well, but it's okay. I'm gonna move forward with the video. So anyway, I recorded the whole process and shortened it so you guys don't have to watch the boring parts except the first one, which uh, I already showed. The difference between the manual and auto for farming mastery points. It's definitely a great way to rake up everything in intensively within the 30 minutes. Okay, so also I recommend focusing on the SR gear, but not forgetting about other weapons in your main slot. Okay, so these are really important. Uh, I'm gonna focus on the SR okay, right here. So I actually already did. So I'm gonna level the rest of the things up, especially the level one here. And then I will work on the sub gear. Okay, I'll cover that in a while. As you can see, I did the screenshots. Okay, the screenshots here. Okay, uh, actually this is the poster. Since it takes three quarter AXP foot to level a SR past 50, but it only takes one AXP foot to level any level one to level 14. And level one to level 14 power boost will be larger than a level 50 to 51 power boost. I like the confirmation of this point as I pointed out in my previous video as well. Okay, so next up, nightmares. Well, there's not a lot of options. We have two free S nightmares. Okay, these two nightmares and a whole bunch of garbage story ones. So it's widely considered that the story nightmares, even the S ones, are garbage. So the advice is to get one copy of the event rabbit. I kind of actually accidentally gotten the extra nightmare. I thought I didn't buy it, but I actually buy it again. So uh, it's okay. I, I'm, I'm aware now. So I actually bought it with I think like 500, I think like 500 medals or something. What a waste. And then split the pre-registered Nightmare food, SR and S ones. Okay, I'm gonna check out about that. Between the both S nightmares and use the guild reward food B and A on the story ones. Okay, so I'm gonna level them using the guild reward food. Okay, I'm gonna check out the guild reward food in a while. Okay, why the heck not? Let's go to the guild shop now. Okay, so I believe this is the guild medals, okay, uh, which is called charm medals. Okay, so right now I have 47. And then where are the food? Oh, okay, so they actually have this SR for only 10. Um, Probably just gonna grab this, you know, to pull some attacks. Even though I'm actually DPS, you can actually put this in your sub grid, sub gear, and then boost some of your stats as well. I mean, 10 is not a lot, so might as well. The rest of the SR is actually 500, considering that. But where are the food that he talked about? Let me scroll down. What is this? Evolving Nightmare. Okay, so these are for evolution. Where are the food? This one? Evolving Nightmare. Okay, uh, what about this? Upgrade. Okay, so I think these are the ones. B and A one. So they also have B upgrade nightmares. Okay, so probably scroll all the way down. Do we see it? Nope. That is so weird. Where is it? Okay, I only see S and A rank with this tablet. Yeah, correct. So where are the... Oh, I got B. Okay, uh, anyway. Okay, moving forward. I cannot actually find it. For armor. Okay, let's go to armor. Okay, it said that there's only the basic S set available for now. I actually upgraded it to A. So just do the EXP event, same as weapon XP event five times a day. And their evolution material event is every other day. Just level them up progressively and buy some bird crowns in the event shop if you want to make any of them as I actually bought, I actually cleared the event shop of the evolution material because they are like really, really cheap. So I guess it's actually worth exchanging it even though you can only upgrade them into S. I mean, this these are the only armor that we can get right now. So might as well grab it first. I'm going to invest until S. Okay, so for jobs, okay, I really like this part. Okay, jobs, you should level all the classes you can. When you see a class level up gives a common boost that will universally give power to all your classes. This only applies to summonable jobs. So right now I leveled those stuff that I think is applicable for me, immediate stuff. So like all these, I'm using Cinderella. So definitely level 5 applicable for myself. But right now it's going to be 2750. So I'm going to use the mastery points to level other classes right now because they are way cheaper. Should be like 1100 each, especially the level ones. So anyway, the common ones, you know, like at level 3 and level 4, the M defense is applies to your whole account. So it's definitely worth to level them to all level 4 each at least. So this is what I'm going to do now. I actually save up quite enough for a mastery. Uh, I'm going to go according to this. Actually, it doesn't matter. So okay, level 4. Okay, try to do as many as possible. But preferably, you know, level 1 to level 2 is the best if you are actually using them, those weapons. Uh, but in this case, Okay, actually it's quite a lot. So I'm gonna go to level 3 first. You know, level 3 get some M defense. Okay, wait, actually just level 4 lah. 
So you can get both bonuses right away. 4, 4, 4, 4. Okay. I'm actually out of mastery points. But anyways, so this is the way to go. Look at my boost. I was like at 30,000. 30, okay, still at 30,000. Mm. Okay. Okay, so I have a few max level weapons. But how the hell do you already have L3 weapon? Okay, his answer. Well, other than the lot of materials you get during the rookie buff, every day there is a dungeon out for evolving weapons that is grindable. But warning, those goddamn skills never drop his skills, okay? So if you want to gain power quick, I recommend buying them from the event medal exchange and to only get one copy of the nightmare. Yeah, I accidentally uh changed more than one. So how much is the Nightmare? Yeah, 300. Oh, that's really expensive. So I accidentally changed for this. The first one I think is like really cheap. So I actually gotten it. And these are really precious. So remember to save up for this. I'm going to do this last cost. I'm going to... Okay, the skills actually here. Only five. I remember the skills actually dropped for me when I was farming it. So yeah, actually, I guess it's RNG definitely. Okay, so the event medal, uh, medal exchange, there's a lot of stuff. I actually bought the bird armor level 2 and level 1. Okay, so far I actually cleared the store out. Okay, next, what about sub gear? Okay, let's go to sub gear. Okay, so sub gear are items. Okay, sub gear right here. That gives points but only 10% of their original value. So my advice is, as you can see from the screenshots, is to fit a single A rank XP foot to the SRs. You cannot use so the, you cannot use so the free SR ops if you are DPS and the free SR lens if you are support. Uh, okay, I guess you know you can just use this. And that will give around extra 40 power per SR at level 14 in the sub and 20 to 30 power for every A slash S at level 14 in the sub gear. Actually, that's a lot if it actually stacks. Too bad I only have like this amount of weapons to actually put uh, quite a farmer. But if I have Nightmare food, I might actually invest in this. But so far, consensus for Discord is Nightmare materials, leveling materials are actually pretty precious. So please keep that in mind when trying to YOLO and do that. I like the leveling materials for weapons and armor which is which are farmable during gorilla events. Okay, any last tips? One of the biggest things to take away that your rank and how much cost you have also take a big role. I'm rank 41. Okay, personally, I am rank what? Oh, rank 39. Pretty close. As if that screenshot and had to use all my cost to get that high. So it might take some time, but with persistence, I believe we can get there before the end of the bunny event. Okay, so one thing to note that your rank is tied to how much uh, cost that you can actually carry. So right now, I can carry 196 cost and I have like five more slots here. So when I level up, okay, let me just check. Uh, remove everything. Okay, go to main gear. Can I equip more stuff? Yep, I actually equip one more item. So go back to the sub gear. Okay, actually boost uh, a bit. I think 1000. Less than 1000, something like that. So that hammer actually shifts to my main gear because of the cost. Now keep that in mind, it's actually really important when you were like, hey, what come? You cannot actually fill this up because of this cost. Okay, so maximum is 20. So when you increase your cost, you can actually equip your more weapons. Okay, the last part of his post is uh, he's actually looking for members. Actually, my guild is kind of looking for members as well. I need most of my members to be on Discord. Right now, my guild, uh, some of them which I when I actually left it open and slept overnight, those people that joined, they actually have not joined the Discord. But I need everyone to be on Discord so that we can coordinate our roles. DPS, support, you know, who are the healers, who are the buffer, who are the debuffer, you know, like in a couple of weeks time, we are gonna sort out the roles. Okay, so next one. Okay, so personally, final tips, okay? Go to the option, I actually missed out in yesterday's video. Okay, just push the notification during Gorilla events, you can actually get this. Uh, if you're on mobile, this will definitely help, but I'm actually on emulator, so... Oh well, I have to check, you know, like certain timing. Okay, so as promised, I wanna show you guys my progress. So this is the only, these are the only things that I actually fab, you know, just now. I kind of make a mistake. So I only got, okay, let's see. Okay, so I have to claim the volume. You're not claim due to lack of inventory space. Ha, huh, inventory space. Inventory space. Okay, I think inventory space is here. Upgrade and sell. Okay, 19 for our weapon. 8 for armor. 35 for nightmare and miscellaneous. Okay, so all these, oh, I still have a lot of materials here. Okay. So I'm gonna use this right now. So I guess just now it was full and then it was sent to my inbox, which is awesome. Uh, instead of, you know, blocking your... Hey, why is this still not sold? I already take the option. Uh, is it? Okay, recommended. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All gold, right? Only gold, right? Okay, I'm gonna sell the gold. Yep, okay, confirm. Okay, so let's do some upgrading now. Okay, I'm like, level, I'm like 30,000 before this video. Okay, 31,000? Okay, let's see if we can get hit 40 after I did that double drop event. A weapon? Okay, this is gonna... Get 
at least one, one A level 14, which is awesome. Okay, everything is gonna get a boost at least. Okay, this one as well. Okay, if you want, you can actually take note of the stats right here. So this is something like, uh, look at the highest stats. So this is a magic attack, 354. I actually prefer if they show like how much increment, but they actually don't show it. So actually now it's like 500, which is a lot. You know, 14 levels. Maybe I can sort by the level. Okay, so there's one more here. Okay, so all these are sorted out. I still have a lot of pots that I can level up. So I'm going to level the SR first so that I can actually get them to L. Yeah, I'm mainly using swords. So I'm going to level my swords as well. Okay, Blade of Depravity. Here you go. Wait, actually I want to upgrade this to at least 20 first. So maybe one more A pot. Wait, let me see how much increment. Okay, so now it's 365. At rank 14. Okay, you go to 18. How about 2? Okay, so 2. 2A, you jump to 22, okay? So 14 to 22, okay, that's a relatively big jump. 3 something, yeah, okay. I think it's worth level them to level 22. Great success, okay. Uh, Things happen, sometimes it's good. Okay, so it actually becomes le level 24. Okay, and this spear right here. Okay, and that's it. I think that's the limit I'm setting for you know, the minimum. Then I want to level them. I'll see if we can limit break these guys. I don't know why they untick this, but okay. I only want upgrade materials. Recommended. Oh, I recommend it. Okay, auto, it says, I'm gonna believe them. Max level, Blade of Depravity. Okay, so I wanna see if I can actually evolve the gear. Uh, seems like no. So I need one more Dragon Scale. Ah, oh, that's all. Okay, I'm gonna go to the shop and buy, you know, to make this video faster. So Dragon Scale, just one. Green Dragon Scale. So if you need more, feel free to do so. I believe it's actually worth doing it. Since the medals are actually pretty easy to get. Okay, wait. So if you don't see it, Guys, remember to actually collect it from your present, okay? From the home screen, you can actually get it as well. Okay, so I still have a bunch of swords that I've collected. So I've collected 20 now. Okay, one thing to keep in mind is after you evolve it, it will actually drop in uh, power. Everything will drop. So you look at this, even though I upgraded my stuff, my gear will actually drop. Okay? Not much, but okay. So right now, I'm going to upgrade my gear, which is that L weapon. Where's my L weapon? Okay, here. So this is my first L weapon ever. Congrats to myself. That are recommended. Okay, I'm gonna boost this like nobody business. Just one full charge 46 is it reached 1200, which is awesome. Okay, so if I'm worried, I'm gonna change my base to uh, the next S weapon, which is this one. Yep, okay, this one makes sense. Recommended 17 of them. Okay, rank 16. Gotta eat off my gear. Okay, so what is needed? Okay, just check this. Okay, so I need five more fire skills. The same thing, go to the shop. This metal exchange is like, you know, hmm. Okay, so five scales. Okay, right here, five scales. Easy peasy, only five medals each. My running stage nine, so about nine medals per run. So that was like five times five, 25. So about four, three, 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 four runs. Okay, evolve, easy peasy. My sec, oh, remember to collect it in your shop. Okay, dragon skill, okay, done. That's all I farmed for. So evolve gear, okay, evolve. Okay, so surprise, surprise, after I got that up, what's my gear score right now? It's still 30, 31,000. It's like magic, guys. It's in, the number never moves. Where is my second L? Hey, okay, I haven't done it. Evolve. Yeah. Oh, I evolved the other thing. Oh, man, what am I doing? Okay, shameless ambition. Oh, nice. That's actually a really nice sword. Okay, my gear should drop. Okay, now it's back to 30,000, guys. Congrats. So time to upgrade your weapon. Okay, this process is taking a while. Where's my L weapon? Okay, here. Shameless ambition. Okay, now it's 600. They okay, recommended with the boost. Okay, thankfully I still have a lot of uh, leveling materials. Okay, 46. Comes back to 1002. And then this one. Okay, I actually accidentally leveled this. But sure, I mean, I don't mind. One quick boost as well. SR. Let's go. Okay, you can see that the difference is quite a lot. So it's not as high as the previous one. Okay, but uh, 46 seems fine. Okay, so right now it's 33,000. Okay, not quite as near 40,000, but you know, still good enough. So far, it's like 3,000 boost after doing that. So I'm gonna level my depravity more right now, which is this one, 40,000. Okay, that seems fine. So leveling this is good. Oh, that's all I left. Reset. Okay, gonna make it to level 50 at least. Okay, 1,300. Done. Okay, so this is all I have right now. Let me see if I can upgrade my armor as well. Okay, I don't really have much to upgrade, but okay, I'm just gonna do this. Okay, so anyway, I'm probably not gonna level the Nightmare because they are only S, not SR Nightmares. So I'm gonna hold off my Nightmare materials and then just gonna work on mainly weapons and then hopefully some armor when the armor gorilla events comes tomorrow. So, but then I feel like, you know, I need more into the weapons. 
it will definitely boost more than my armor. So, okay, what I'm gonna do right now is gonna remove all these. Okay, and then for recommendation, it's up here now 32,000, okay, 33.7. Okay, and I don't know where this came from, but okay, sure. Okay, so I think that's all for today. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully learned something out of it. If you did, please consider subscribing and liking this video. Comment right down below what other tips to level up fast in this game as a free-to-play. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Okay, it's just one minute before the gorilla starts and I have a 47 AP. I actually used up some AP earlier. So let's head to the shop as mentioned. We should be getting this item, okay, uh, for 20 crystals, uh, right below. Double item drop rates during story for 30 minutes. Okay, I'm gonna get this right now. Uh, I have zero, so I'm gonna get one for 20 crystals. It's uh, 10.30 right now. Okay, so let's head over to the gorilla missions. Okay, so 29 minutes left. I'm gonna do the weapon upgrades as many as possible. I actually have the purification, you know, pending, so I'll do that in a while. So let's see within these 30 minutes how far I can go. And here we go. Okay, so anyway, I'm probably gonna record this whole process and just gonna click the first button. I'm gonna tell you in a minute why. And shorten it so you guys don't have to watch this boring whole process part. Except probably the first one, I'm gonna explain some stuff. Okay, wave two. Okay, so I'm gonna show you the difference between manual and auto for farming mastery points. I mentioned in the previous video that manual farming and auto farming, there's gonna be a difference. So it's definitely a great way to rake up everything intensively within these 30 minutes. You're gonna get a lot of mastery points, you're gonna get a lot of material. Oh wait, I actually have not popped the item yet. Okay, so let's see how many drops I'm gonna get right now before I pop the item. Okay, it's experimental. I kind of wasted, you know, a lot of AP not doing this, but uh, it's okay. For the video, I'm gonna sacrifice some of the resources. Okay, so four right here. So 30 minutes, let's see how far I can go. Um, let's go to items. And then... Wait, I bought the wrong vial, I think. Okay, wait. Yeah, I think I, know, I bought the wrong vow. Um, shop. Okay, 20 AP. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Hey, where's the double drop? Huh. XP. Go. Okay, so I'm at a use history. I actually bought this, right? So, I think it automatically uses the, the vow. Okay, so I'm running out of time. I'm gonna do it as soon as possible. Or maybe it's right here. Okay, wait. I think it's here. Okay, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's actually five minutes past the time. Okay, I'm gonna do it now. Let's see how fast I can do this. Oh, man. 30 minutes is not enough, man. I wish... You know, they, they let it run for like a full day or something. Okay, so I'm gonna use this vow right now. Go to events. Okay, wait. Use item. Item not in possession. Not in possession. Drop vow. Okay. Okay, since I do not have enough AP, I'm gonna do the purification right now. I have a one free one to spend right now. I don't know. I may actually level up during this process, but it's okay. It's gonna stack up as much as possible. So maybe I can level up uh, after that. Okay, this is the cap that I already gotten. So now, right now, I just want to get more EXP. Okay, I'm not really good at this. Mouse is kind of slower than, you know, if you use your fingers, but okay. So I've got some AP, so I'm gonna head over to story, event. Okay, so you guys can avoid this mistake I'm making right now. Okay, use items, drop vial, use. Okay, so it says here there's, there's an indication that it's running for 30 minutes, I only left with 22 minutes, but it's okay guys, let's do this! Okay, so I'm just gonna spam the first button, because I don't want to think so much. Okay, obviously it's better to, you know, plan your attacks so that you can use more of this. But the enemies are actually pretty weak, so... Okay, alternatively, if you're using emulator, you can also use the macro function. Uh, so whenever you're running missions, you can just on the, the macro. And ideally, you want to hit the first button and the third button. This one and this one. Because certain stages could drag pretty long, so you might want to recharge your weapons, which requires AP. If you're, if you're stuck on the first one, and then it will not recharge the, the weapons with the AP. So it might be a problem. So you got to alternate between the first and third button. I mean, you could use the third button, but then you would not use finish using all the weapons as well. So, you know, you got to use everything. Okay, so double drop. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. So this is how double drop works. Okay, so the same drop rate and everything, but, you know, times two. I'm going to try again. And let's see how many we're going to get today and how far I can do in my mission. So I'm going to see how much um, points I can gather today with this technique that is done 
on the post. Also, anyway, do the 30 AP intermediate difficulty, which is the one I'm doing right now, which is the second one. There's like first, second, third. So do the second one because the beginning one doesn't give you much uh, stuff. And I think the advance is way too hard, even with 40,000 points. Okay, so this is uh, number two. Okay, try again. Okay, purify. Okay, let's do the purification right now. Okay, for purification, I prefer to, you know, minimize the window to a smaller size so that you can actually hit easier with the mouse. Oh no, not enough. Oh, come on. Okay, almost. Oh man, feels bad, feels bad. Time is ticking away, so I gotta go straight into the story. Go back to the event. I have like... I don't know how many minutes left. Okay, 14 minutes. Come on, come on, let's do this. Okay, continue. Okay, next. Oh, that's not a lot, man. But thankfully, it's times two. Okay, next one. Okay, we got four this time. Okay, we got four this time. The next one, let's go. Oh, okay, so I need require to purify. Me. Oh, I'm almost there, man. So should I even purify? Actually, no. Uh, okay. So in this case, I'm probably gonna continue the story, the event. I'm gonna do one more, and then I'll probably level up, and then just continue. Hey. Or you can actually do some other missions, but um, I think we should just stick to this. You know, just level up, 15 AP. Okay, done with this one. So I should level up and then I can continue doing the intermediate. Okay, just for reference, 15 AP this is what you're gonna get if you do the beginner one. Okay, okay, I'm gonna show you how many XP we're gonna get later. So we level up, I'm gonna go to intermediate right now. Okay, we have a couple more minutes. Stage clear. Oh no, only two? Oh man, that feels bad, dude feels bad okay okay this makes up for the previous round okay let's go oh no oh i forgot to guys i forgot to hit the record button so anyway i actually just did purification and then going on to the next one oh well uh things happen stage clear okay three next one all right so more or less you get you know three drops you know times two per round where some stages you get two with some stages you get four but average out you get average of three okay three drop Okay, why is it okay? Oh, this is the last one. Oh man. Oh man, this feels bad. Okay, I still have enough energy, man. So earlier, if I actually prepare and then start on time, I would probably be able to use two full tickets for purification. Uh, but right now, I actually still have that uh, double drop running. So I'm going to use it right now before I continue this video. Interestingly, we actually have two evolution mysteries right now. The stages for evolution material, the fire one and the water one. I'm going to do the fire one right now. Uh, I don't think I actually done it yet. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to just run this and utilize the times two drop because, you know, why not? Okay, so this is what I'm getting for the fire double drops. Okay, so I'm gonna proceed with the next one. Okay, this is a lot lesser, but <laughs> this is what it is.